How to deal with anger and hatred the Buddha way. This video is for those people who want to calm their mind. And learn to live in the present moment. To learn something from this video. And watch till the end. Buddha statement. Hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love, this is the eternal rule. Carries profound wisdom about the transformative power of love and compassion. It highlights the futility of responding to hatred with more hatred. As it only perpetuates a cycle of negativity and suffering. Instead, Buddha teaches that love and compassion are the antidotes to hatred, offering a path towards healing and harmony. In a world often plagued by conflict, misunderstanding, and animosity, Buddha's words serve as a timeless reminder of the importance of cultivating love and compassion in our interactions with others. When faced with hatred or anger, reacting in kind only fuels the fire, intensifying the negativity and causing further harm. However, by responding with love, understanding, and compassion, we break the cycle of negativity and create an environment conducive to healing and growth. To truly understand and embody this eternal rule, one must first cultivate love and compassion within themselves. Self-love and self-compassion lay the foundation for extending these qualities to others. When we cultivate a deep sense of kindness, forgiveness, and acceptance towards ourselves, we are better equipped to extend those qualities to those around us. By practicing empathy, we develop the ability to see beyond the surface level actions and behaviors of others. We recognize that beneath the expressions of hatred or anger lies a deeper source of pain, fear, or suffering. Through understanding and compassion, we can address the root causes of such negativity and offer healing and support. When confronted with conflicts or disagreements, embodying Buddha's teaching means approaching the situation with a genuine desire for resolution and understanding, rather than engaging in a battle of words or escalating tensions. We seek to listen attentively, to validate the experiences and feelings of others and to respond with empathy and compassion. In doing so, we create an environment that allows for open dialogue, mutual respect, and the potential for transformative change. The practice of love and compassion also extends to acts of kindness and service towards others. By expressing love and compassion through our actions, we contribute to the well-being and happiness of those around us. Whether it is a kind word, a helping hand, or a gesture of support, these small acts have the power to uplift, inspire, and create a ripple effect of positivity in the world. Buddha's teaching reminds us that love and compassion are not passive or weak responses. They require strength, courage, and a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings. By embracing this eternal rule and cultivating love and compassion in our hearts and actions, we contribute to the creation of a more peaceful, harmonious, and loving world. Thanks for watching. If you like this video make subscribe, liked, and shared. Please share your comments with your story. Thank you.